So, back in my old hood where I used to grow up. <clears throat> Gonna make a video on a school that I learned a lot of tricks at. Show you kind of like how I learned manuals, no slides. Kind of injured one of my muscles in my back, so just gonna take it easy today, make a fun video. I'm gonna cruise down this hill. That's gonna be uh, pretty wicked. When I used to go down here, there would be like, cause I'd have crappy trucks and I didn't know how to control the board from a speed wobble, right? I almost fell one time, but anyways, this is like the first big hill. That I did, I'm gonna show you a bunch of the stair sets and gaps and all that good stuff. School. And then maybe on my street too, because there's a couple spots there that I remember doing and stuff. So it should be fun. I'm gonna record this for right now. So we're down the hill, baby. So this is one of the curbs that I first learned no slides on. It's kind of like a secondary one, one that I learned after uh, learning on a different set of curbs over here. I'll show you. And I think I board slid this thing once right into the bank. This is a really rough, it's a little bit more rough terrain now on this asphalt, but it used to be a lot better. There was a five stair set right here as you can see it's been paved over right here but there's a five set and we're doing that and this is a school mostly i'd uh, rollerblade at so before i'd done any skateboarding it was all ro you know rollerblading and rollerblading is really fun because like you can kind of jump from the, so the ground all the way up to the third stair and then do a 360 down. Stuff like that. Those aren't wax anymore, but still pretty sick. And there's a little gap here. I used to do this gap. A lot of it's changed. A lot I like the wheelchair ramp there. It was better before. Uh, so I'd come in here, zoom in. Jump, do a kind of stall and then jump back. So that was pretty sick. And then what else? It's four set. I learned how to do kick flip, back 180, front 180, pop shove it. I think I did. I backside flipped it once, which is probably my best trick. So backside flip and very off flip, I think. And that's it. And we used to put like rails. Like rails and all sorts of stuff. It was pretty fun. I couldn't do this rail. This rail, as you can see, the run up is like pretty short, so it's kind of not the best conditions. Eh? Right here, you can see it's just Used to do 50 50s and back 50. I think I'm going to crook over here. Mosey over to this ledge. Let's see. It was once really good, like this would get in the way sometimes, a lock, and this isn't like really a choose it part, but it's good for learning back 50s. Remember back 50ing, and then 180ing out, stuff like that, back 180. Um, it would be sick to do this real. I could maybe pop up the high one day, who knows. But yeah, so here I'll do a couple of stalls. This way, just to do this. And this whole uh, wheelchair ramp wasn't there. There was more stair stair sets that you could. Yeah. I one slide. I a lot of tricks. All right, so I'm gonna do a few more tricks on this set, and then I'm gonna pat, bounce out of here. I remember learning a lot of tail 
So here's a drain that I used to skate over. I used to just like ollie from here all the way to here. Do like manual, ollie manual, and then go off the curb. There used to be a lot of benches here when the wheelchair ramp wasn't here. So those were good to do like front noses, nose slides, it crooked it. There's also a file cabinet here, super tall like up here. Then uh, this has been all been repaved, really nice. But right here, we used to come through to this little gap. That was a good learning gap. It's still a decent. You just have to be used to like riding kind of rough, rough terrain. And there was once a wooden railing, but that's been taken out. This is also a big gap that you can do. Can I get a run up? from way up there and you zoom forward and then you can do like, I think I ollied from like right here once and I was pretty proud of that from this square. I remember like ollieing before the last square so it's a pretty big gap for starters. Then right here you can see still paint on this one, on this curb right here, because we used to skate it so much. I remember one time, uh, did a lot of good tricks on it, 5-0 shove and nolly back 50s, but one time I did a nolly back 50, and I was coming out, this is what happened. I recollect it pretty well. I turned out and I thought the board was going primo, but then what happened was I landed on it, it slipped really quickly. Boom on the on the concrete, and that split my lip open a little bit, and then instantly I could feel like numbness in my lips, and then you could tell uh, it was all swollen. So this has been redone. As you can see, the difference between the concrete here and in this curb. This curb was really good for learning different slide tricks. You can see it's been pretty ground down a little bit. And, Slid on and such. Remember doing front noses like here on show. Doing the slimy style, you know. A drop move where you go kind of just hold the tail that was the first ever trick that I learned besides pushing <laughs> we used to do that because once you learn that you want to like test it off uh, different drops and stuff right so and of course here I even ollie this surprisingly. It's like one push, boom, got ollie. <laughs> That's pretty sick. And did some slides on here. Obviously, you can see it's been fucking really beat up. And there's not much around the back of the school. I'm gonna check real quick. Right here now, I could skate this and do more. Like I can do no slide and various tricks here. And also off this little bump, I used to do like side flip or I think I did a tray flip once half cap flip into the bank it's got a little good incline 
and I think uh, one of my buddies with his willow blades jumped up. That was pretty, fun. That was pretty sick. And so many good memories here. I even climbed with my buddy, like I said. We climbed, I think it was, there was a, see right here, there used to be like a ventilation something or other, and then there was a fence, and we just climbed and got onto the roof. It was, it was really, it was pretty fucking dangerous because, oh, pardon my French, but uh, yeah, I had to put my fingers under those shingles, so that was an interesting experience. So I'm going to go around the school show a couple a couple more spots and of course there's this train that I used to love doing that back when you and stuff all over it's always fun to go back to old spots and you remember everything nearly that you did there so I'll show a couple more things there's this parking lot didn't used to have that uh, stupid freaking speed bump but uh this parking lot we just come along and do manuals, so this is where we live in manuals, see how far you know. Hold the manual. One time I got all the way there. I was really impressed with myself, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to the back of the school now. So I found the bike rack. That we used to learn 50-50s on, did a bunch of 50s, back 50, 5 all that good stuff before learning on bigger rails. That's where I learned how to grind. This used to be a gap, so a little grass gap. Used to gap that. And I'll tell you a little funny story as I'm moseying on to the last gap that I want to show you, but there's a house right over there. I don't know if you can see right by the sea cam, but we used to have called a water balloon launcher and we'd launch water balloons all the way over over the field it's it, it shoot about or launch I should say about a hundred yards or meters I think it was and it was amazing you could just fling water balloons as far as you want practically and yeah we made the people come out of their houses and stuff. But, yeah. this is this stupid fifth I guess it's a nice little bench, but this thing used to not be there. Also, this asphalt is older, or no, newer than the older asphalt there. There used to be a grass gap. Barrier flip, tray flip, back step flip, half cap flip, everything. I, I kick flipped up it. Back or like, what else did I do? Heel flip, very heel. All those good fun tricks. This little bank I learned a lot of uh, little transition, little 5 0 stall, and stuff like that. Kind of stall. That's pretty much it, honestly. I wish if those were. If those were freaking all. If this area was paved, those stair sets would be the best. Kind of like manual pad, ledge to skate, but yeah, that's what I grew up with. And this is like my skate park. Honestly, there was no skate park nearby. The only close one was Bear Creek, or it's another good one. That's pretty much it, Bear Creek, until later on. Then Quan had one built there, etc., etc. You know what's crazy too? Last thing I'll show you for this video this playground right here, I dropped in there. No joke. It looks crazy now looking at it, but I, with a skateboard, I dropped in and just zoomed. I think I like just shot it out and fell on my ass, but that was pretty crazy right there. So yeah, a lot of good stories. I, I got more stories I could tell, but uh, you know, maybe I'll write those down. Pass those stories on. I'll tell one more maybe. There's a... Uh, this is like the best toboggan hill. As you can see how wide it is. So much open space that you can use, you know, like in the winter times. So there you have it. Make use of any skate spot. That's what, that's what I think is best because you skate the same park all the time. It gets boring. 
you, you, your imagination stagnates and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just, I don't want to hurt my back, so that's why I'm not pushing, uh, like, on a regular day, if I was really going to skate hard, I would have done some tricks down before set, so just not really 100% feeling it today, so to speak. But yeah, I feel good being back. It feels like being back home. And, uh, I got some other funny stories. Okay, one more. There's janitors <laughs> that used to leave the doors open here, right? So we'd play, me and my friend Chad, Red and Ball, and uh, another guy, his step or half brother, Mike Gormson, who I used to skate with a lot, and a bunch of other people, Adrian Golf, but we used to all freaking barge into the <laughs> into the school after school was closed, you know, and then turn off the janitor's you know their vacuums and stuff right when they're in the room and then we'd run out and we call it um, Mission Impossible because our own little game and stuff is pretty funny and uh, we did a little bit more than that maybe with some fireworks but uh, that wasn't really my idea or my doing I was just along for the ride there you have it hope you enjoyed that it's also a nice nice parking lot here you can skate on the meridians and all that good man so hope you enjoy